we have introduced class of function C1. Let me remind you, uh, if a function f of x and y is such that both first order derivatives df over dx, df over dy are continuous, so they belong to class C, uh, if there is some domain we indicated here within the brackets or if there are no uh, brackets, that means that the domain is the um, coordinate plane, R2. Now, we can also introduce C2, class of functions. This time, we um, say that given a function f of x, y, whose first derivatives are continuous, and moreover, all second-order derivatives are also continuous, and according to Young's theorem, then, the cross derivatives are the same. So all these derivatives, all these derivatives are continuous. Then the function, function itself belongs to C2 class. Uh, let me introduce a matrix, which is called Hessian matrix, or simply Hessian, whose entries are second-order derivatives calculated at some point. Usually we use notation d squared f taken at x0, y0. This is a point where all these second order derivatives are calculated. And this is a 2 by 2 matrix. The first row includes this derivative and this is a cross derivative. Here we write y, y x, a reverse order, f y y, but uh, we're dealing with a function uh, which belongs to C2. That means that cross derivatives are the same. Then this is a symmetric matrix. A symmetric matrix. This matrix uh, will be used in optimization theory to check uh, whether a point we find with with the help of the first order conditions is really a maximization point or minimization point. We were considering case of x and y, only two variables, but clearly we can generalize everything which was said uh, to n-dimensional case. So how to introduce a shorthand in this case? So let's suppose we have a function f depending on many variables and variables. Now, if we differentiate twice with respect to xj and xi, then we can use a brief notation, fij. Uh, by the way, Young's theorem uh, is also applicable for n-dimensional case, and whenever you have such a uh, Mm, second order derivative, uh, if the derivatives are continuous at a given point, you can reverse the order of differentiation and get the same result. Now, uh, Hessian matrix can be also introduced in n-dimensional case. So this time we write d squared f, we indicate the point where derivatives are calculated, and we get an n by n matrix. So this is n by n matrix. So given a function f which belongs to C2, this matrix Hessian is symmetric. Is symmetric. So here we fill in the entries.
And you'll see later that these metrics are very helpful in optimization theory.